We're talking about uh, an extinct millipede the length of a car that once from northern England today. Uh, no. No, thank you. No, 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 thank you. The size of a car? Yeah. Wait. The scientists stumbled upon the fossilized remains in the, of the ancient millipede. Uh, yeah. You know, there's there's few things that scare me. Uh, but giant bugs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, giant bugs. That was before the time of the dinosaurs. Ugh. That this dates back. It, you know, I'd be more afraid of a giant millipede than I would a T-Rex. Yeah, well, it's the largest uh, arthropod uh, known. No. Well, wow. It, it, they found it in 2018. But um, it, the, the idea of giant bugs, just knowing how, how hard it is sometimes to even, like, kill a spider in your house. Imagine that, but the size of a car. It would, dist it would rule the world. Imagine it would the be other our arthropods look like. Oh or... God. Uh, like my nightmares. I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So was it like the size of like a Volkswagen Bug or like a Cadillac? It just said small car. Oh, nearly nine feet. Uh, that's pretty big. I'm weighing about 50 kilograms. It's just a shell. Okay. It's... Okay, the shell only weighs about 50 kilograms. But when it was alive, it was probably significantly heavier. And, and that's just one uh, section of it, what? I believe. That's just one section. Oh, so this thing was like the size of a bus then? Yeah, maybe, maybe so. Holy yeah. crap. Um, you know, we can stop with, like, the big monster, you know, like, oh, Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, okay, giant, giant uh, lizard running through the city. Yeah, that's, you know, you're, you're screwed. But a giant, millipede? But a giant millipede crawling through the sewers and uh, coming up and grabbing you? That, that sounds terrifying. They should mo make a movie on that. Yeah. You know, we, we talk about Plessy, you know, uh, being in, being out there, being in, you know, a dinosaur that lived on. But uh, thinking that something like that could be roaming around underground, because they, they don't usually live above, you know, up on land. They, they like getting under stuff. What could mm. that get under, though? Other than burrowing into the ground. Yeah, I don't know. They think it has something to... And the... They think it's so big because it has something to do with the oxygen. Mm. Yeah. Or maybe ancient aliens. Uh, no. It, it was in the Carboniferous and Permian periods. So well, ancient aliens means ancient, not just kind yeah, well, of old. Uh, I doubt they'd want to come and deal with a millipede that big either. It's probably why they didn't stick around at that time. They were probably <laughs> like, "Oh, jeez, yeah, let's come back later when, uh, <laughs> when, when the monkeys are ruling everything. You know, these things, ooh, can't deal with these guys." <laughs> You know, we'll we'll come back later and put some stones in a circle somewhere. Stonehenge. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe pile some some rocks, make some pyramids. It really is ridiculous when you think about it. Yeah. It I've got a question. Is the whole alien like ancient alien thing like was it like alien babies that were coming down and like playing with blocks because that's what it seems like i don't, I don't know I've, because I've, there's no technology left in these in these places you know if it was 
some crazy advanced uh, species that was coming here doing the stuff. Wouldn't they have left something, you know... For, forget a tool? Yeah. There or there? You know, we lose our our wireless headphones all the time. And look at mines. Look at all the evidence uh, that you can, you can crawl in old mines and see all... Find old tools, rusty tools yeah. in there. Yeah. Just because... They yeah. stopped mining that area. Yeah. That doesn't mean oh, they well, that's actually out. another ancient alien theory is that uh, Bigfoot was mining gold for them. Bigfoot? Bigfoot, yeah. Wow. <laughs> they had Bigfoot <laughs> down in the mines uh, getting gold for them. Uh, wow. Not saying that aliens aren't real and not saying that we haven't been visited in the past. Yeah, uh, definitely not but, saying that. But... To the extent that they want to claim, no, eh, that's where it gets a little, little iffy for me. You know, the yeah, we we see some things that we we look at today and are like, oh wow, I can't do that. So no one back then could have. Yeah, it's like, well, me today is kind of an idiot. <laughs> You know, I'm sure it wasn't, you know, the the idiots of the time that were designing these things or showing people how to use, you know, uh, levers and, you know, rolling stuff on logs. Oh, it would have taken months to get those logs from this point or the rocks from this point to this point, rolling it on logs. Yeah, it probably did. Probably took a really long time. Probably really sucked for the people doing it, too. Uh, um. Most definitely, that's. But it, but it's possible. It is. Think, things took a long time back then. Uh, things take a long time now. Look how long it takes for us to build like a skyscraper. Uh, mm-hmm. Look how long it takes me to put together a Lego set. And that has instructions. Well, forget the Lego set. How about my IKEA? Uh, shit! You you need to stop. <laughs> You need to, well, first off, you need to stop asking me to build your (laughs) Ikea furniture, okay? If you know that I'm going to screw up your Ikea furniture, don't ask me. Well, but it's fun to watch you. It's like asking a dog, don't eat that steak. It's going to eat the steak. I am going to screw up the Ikea furniture. Yes, but you have a fun time doing it. No, I don't. You don't. You look like you're having fun. No, I don't. Oh, well, then no more Ikea furniture for yeah. then. Yeah, no Ikea furniture. Okay. Not not a fan. Uh, the the Swedes have done a lot of good in the world, but uh, Ikea is not one of them. Well, remember, I, I wanted to pay to have them put it together, but you were like, no, 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 no. I, I, I if, got this. Then you should have just bought a good dresser. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're going to pay the same amount... For a good dresser, for an Ikea furniture, and then someone to come put it together. You might as well just buy something nice. I think it was only like 45 bucks or 50 bucks. Yeah, you could go to a antique store or like a, a Goodwill and get a nice dresser. That was like built in like the 60s. Well, not in these times. People, are, I think, are afraid of the second hand because of C-19. Yeah. You know, their businesses are going well. Oh, they are. Especially right now. Hopefully. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure aliens uh, were scared of those things, too. Yeah. Arthur Pluris. Not a fan. I know. And, and think about what else they may have had that were like giant bugs. Were there giant spiders? Were there giant scorpions? Giant earthworms? Oh, actually, I've, I've heard there are giant earthworms. Yeah. There, there, there were. It was a, a sea scorpion. Oh, God. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> sea scorpion. The millipede knocked the, the sea scorpion out of the top spot for the largest arthropod ever found. God. Uh, See, 
Scorpion. Sea scorpions. Yep. Scorpions that swim. Yeah. Right. Well. Sea scorpions. Thank you for ruining my night because now that's all I'm going to be able to think about. So, uh. Yeah. If you like the video, give us a like. If you dislike the video, uh, we'll send the sea scorpions after you. And uh, comment below on uh, what you think would be the scariest giant bug. Or uh, your ancient alien theory. Yeah. Any Have a great day, everybody. Bye.